Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at Torquay Golf Club and I have got a little review for you today. And Head of Reviews has got a couple of extra boxes sent through to him. Let's go and have a little look at what we've got. Can I just what, say... What? Hang on. Wait, hang what on. have you got? What have you got no, now? Before All we, you get now is wait free kit. Wait, before, you, before we go any further... Can I just say that I do not actually get given anything free. I pay for all my stuff. or right, I get discount, but no freebies here. Before I get any begging letters or people wanting me to send me their old stuff, okay, I don't get them for free. Right, Lester, what have you got for us tonight to go out and test? I'm literally so excited. You We've are. Got, You've been chatting about this all yeah, day. I love a good Bushnell. <laughs> yeah. So we have got Tor V5 Shift. Yeah and we've got the normal Tor V5 to try out and test. Okay, so what's the difference between the normal and the shift? The main difference is the shift version has a slope system, so it gives you up and down rather than ah, just... Ah, it gives just you the a, percentages, yeah, right. Rather than a okay. pure distance, so it yep. gives you the up and down slopes, which is the biggest advancement in these range finders in the last five or six years. Right, and then you've got something even more exciting to share with people, haven't you? I certainly that have. what, The people that are watching this video they have a chance to win the Tor V5. We're giving this away today, Dan. Are we? We are so generous. We are generous. And so are Bushnell. Not only do they give us stuff, but they give it to us and we give it away. Exactly. We don't keep any of it, we give it away. Yeah, that's nice. All right, well, we'll share with them what they're gonna be, uh, what they're gonna have to do in order to win that later on, but let's get out on the golf course and um, hit some balls, but also get some numbers from what these little uh, devices cool. are giving us. Punters win prizes. Punters win prizes. <laughs> So for this review today, I'm going to be using the shift version. Lester's going to be using the non-shift version because we don't want to keep wiping these down with our bacterial wipes. So he's going to give some feedback from what he's getting from the non-shift. I'm going to give you the feedback from the shift. So Lester. Oh, oh, that was a bit close, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you've been using the, T, the Tor V4 now for some time, haven't you? Yeah. Um, it's been in your bag for what, a couple of years you've had that years, one? Yeah. yeah. And how have you got on with that one? Uh, it's brilliant. It's one of the, um, it's the best Bushnell or the best laser rangefinder that I've actually had myself. Right. Okay. But now that I've given you the the Tor V5 right. and you've had that now in your golf bag for what two or three two. weeks or yep. since since lockdown came back, and um, you've been testing it out on the golf course. What's been the sort of biggest noticeable change, I suppose, from coming from now D T or the Tor V4 to now the Tor V5? Okay. Well, the main difference that I've noticed is we tend to be doing quite a lot of our filming in the evenings yeah. sort of when the when the light's fading yeah. when the sun's at an awkward height yeah and it's so much clearer and easy to actually hit distances hit hit objects hit the flag yeah compared to the the v4 which is which is good don't get me wrong but yeah. it's a massive for me it's a massive difference so as the sun's sort of dropping and the hazy yeah. conditions you're still yeah. being able to sort of pick up that flag yeah. just that little bit easier yeah definitely 100 percent. so what lester's noticed there is obviously a difference in the actual light side of things when he gets out onto the golf course later in the evenings now for me when i'm sort of filming using cameras like i'm using now light is massively important for the lens and what Bushnell have said that they've done is that they've brought the light transparency up to 70% now to put that into perspective for you the older ones and other models from other companies are using between 35 and 40% so you're getting a much much clearer vision from it when you're getting into those sort of darker and maybe foggier uh, conditions out on the golf course so a massive massive difference when I'm using my cameras sometimes it can go a little bit grainy if I don't get the right light and that is a big difference between sort of giving you good production and not good production and what Lester's seeing with his Bushnell is definitely a difference because obviously they're getting more light into those lenses it's just making it a lot clearer when he's zapping into those flags what's that okay. tor v5 telling you i've got 177 
What's the big noticeable difference again when you zap it compared to your older one? Yeah, I mean, what are you noticing inside the lens there? Okay, so on the on the older version, the V4, yeah, it just gives you the yardage, and you get you get a slight jolt, like a, a little shock, yeah, so uh, a vibration as such yeah. to tell you when you hit the hit the actual target, yeah. With the the, the Tor V5, not only are you getting that, but you're getting an additional red light or circle that actually lights up to know you've actually hit your target so they're saying it's an extra jolt isn't it yeah. is it, is it more you can feel it more in your hand can yeah you? you can yeah you can definitely feel more vibrations it's obviously the whole thing just lights up when you hit your hit your target so you know you hit it what club are you going to hit uh it's uphill so i'm going to hit and into the wind today so i'm going to hit six nine so what are you gauging how much do you think it is gauged uphill and what what yardage are you going to give it it's going to be playing i would have said it's Guessing wise, six, seven yards uphill. Six or seven yards yeah. uphill. Right, a very good guess, Lester. Four percent. We've got a four percent slope here, and it's playing seven extra yards. So yours came out at one seven six. This one's coming out at one eight three. So you're going a club extra, yeah? Yeah. Right, how much do you use a rangefinder when you're hitting off a tee, when you're playing to position? What are you kind of like a par four that we're about to play now? Yeah. When you're on the tee box, um, what are you sort of zapping and what are you trying to hit? Or do you not use it off the I, tee? I do, yeah. M more so when I'm playing a golf course which I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah. So I'll zap bunkers, I'll hit areas I'm trying to land the ball on and try and work out how far it is to a particular point. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I will use it. I find it particularly useful now that we don't have course planners as such. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah they're, we'll, they're I will kind of a use... thing of the past, aren't they? A lot yeah. of course planners. Most people have either a GPS or a, a range finder of some sort, yeah. don't they? I mean, I would definitely use it off the tee. Oh, it's so good, even in this sunlight. So that is, yeah. Here's now a really good test, isn't it? Because yeah. obviously the sun is setting up here, and this is where it starts to get a bit hazy and a bit sort of more difficult to see with other. Even Bushnells, you know, in the past, it's, it was always a little bit difficult. But you, how's that feeling for you now, then, looking through there? Yeah, it's, um, as I would say, it's like night and day, but I can hit that bunker, which is 276, yeah. every single time. Um, which, on other devices, I had the original Bushnell, and I... Yeah, the old, this old light, ones, This light, you, would, yeah. you wouldn't even, you'd bother, leave it yeah, in your bag. Yeah, you wouldn't bother with it, yeah. No, same with the mist or the fog. Um, but that's working perfectly. I mean, I can't even see the bunker from here. Yeah, through the normal through, eyes. Through your eyes. <laughs> With the bush now, it, I can see it. It's like high definition. Oh, my word. When was the last time you hit one out of the middle like that? I can actually remember it. it can was, you? Yeah, it was 2002 and it was a Tuesday, late evening. You used that, that at 274, didn't you? What have you got out? Well, down down on the slope, it's two six four, so it's down ten yards. Yeah, it's quite a bit, isn't it? That's straight in that bunker. Oh, you do like that little bit of bite on there, don't you? Nice, isn't it? Hey, so that's a new feature, isn't it, into this year's model compared to the uh, Tor V4. Obviously, that one doesn't stick to the buggy, does it? The other one. No. Which we've lost now. <laughs> <laughs> it's back over on the other fairway. Uh, I'll leave it, I think. Yeah. We've, got, we've got a new one now. We've got anyway. a new one now, haven't you? Don't need the old one. Much better design on that, though, isn't it? I mean, got magnetic bit, they're calling it a bite, bite that yeah. um, enables it to stick onto things like buggies. Less, um, less likely to lose it, dropping out your bag or dropping off the buggy. I used to put mine inside the buggy, but occasionally I'd leave it there, but I don't think that's going to fall off. Oh, Ever. that's definitely not. That was solid. That is, that there, is a it? solid position there. And, yeah, go on, pull it, pull it, pull it. Yes. <laughs> but people can also um, probably attach it to things like trolleys yeah, as well. You can probably attach it to you. Oh, oh it's on his belt. He's attached it to his belt. <laughs> Can't that have that because it's... Oh, that of... is... is that, that's on oh, no. solid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're stuck. Obviously, we've got the standard pouch as well, haven't we, which comes with all Bushnells over the years. They've, yeah. they've always had that that sits on the side of your golf bag. 
a little bit of protection for it as you're carrying it around, save you popping it in your golf bag. And that's that's all right, isn't it? You like that one I, this I year? I quite like um, it's very, it's got that the orange around it, so it makes it easy to see, I guess, as well. Yeah, that's some snazzy, of the, isn't the one it? I had before was completely black, which was not ideal. It's hard to, drop to it. find in the dark. Yeah, not well. Or you drop it in the rough. I do spend a lot of time in the rough. One eight six. Was that another another five iron for you, isn't it? No, it was downhill. It was downhill this time. Yeah. What did you guess on the slope? What I guess one eighty. You're bang on again. I'm not. You're not. You are. I've just just done it on the slope version, and you have got one eight six playing six God. yards downhill at one eighty. Your I, eyes are pretty special. I don't need um. I don't need a bushnell. You need a Barnsey. One six two on the slope. One six four. One six two on the slope, and that's an interesting one because obviously. We've got a little bit further down now, so obviously that, that drop in the slope is, is happening a little bit as we kind of come down the slope, it's getting less and less. So as where Leicester was further up, the angle was greater. And what Bushnell have done is they've created a new algorithm. So what they've done is they've taken into consideration, they've worked with golf companies and they've done some research with them that gives them the, the descent angle of the golf ball. So over the years, the descent angle of the golf ball has changed um, from when they first brought out the sloping systems and they've redone the, the algorithm. Again, this is what they're saying. This isn't necessarily we're gonna test this because that'll be very, very difficult to test, but they've created a new algorithm that just gives the slope a little bit more precise reading uh, with the modern technology. Come down, it's come in the hole. That is on Timoth Road. <laughs> <laughs> Long. Oops. Unfortunately, Bushnell doesn't tell you when you've got a flyer. No matter how good your Bushnell is at reading, it's always down to a little bit of user error. And here we have a little bit of user error. It's actually quite nice to see Dan in the bushes looking for his ball. Um, it doesn't happen very often. Another fairway hit. You are finding some fairways. Right, how far you got? Uh, 80 yards. Are you sure? It looks a lot further than 80 yards. Yeah, you're definitely sure it's oh, 80 yards. It's 80 metres. You've got it on metres. Yeah. Right, just on the side of that device, just yeah. hold that button down. Okay. Hold that button down on the side and now yeah. press the top. What have you uh, got now? 87 yards. 87 yards. So that's yeah. a new little thing that they've got on this model, isn't it? Compared to the previous models. That is so much easier to change. Literally just hold the button down. I mean, it's not going to be for us because we always yeah. work in yards. But if you're traveling around, maybe around Europe and things like that, you might move on to golf courses that have got meters. So it's a good sort of gauge. You can, um, even though you're going to zap a yardage anyway, but you can sort of, you know, you can sort of have a little look and see what their meters are compared to what your yards are on it. So it's, it's a good little tool. It'll work quite well. It sort of travels quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Anyway, you've got 87 yards. Okay. Oh yeah, he's on it with his wedges. Get in That's there. awesome. Get in there. We might get a little bit of spin on that. I think it's only right to okay. seal this video off with a cross-country Bushnell challenge. Okay. Okay? So I've brought you over to our 17th tee and we are going to play across to our 13th green. Look at that for a hole. Across two lakes. How far is it? Uh, 130 yards. 130 yards we have zapped. Yeah. It's not uphill or downhill, but we'll test that with my little laser in a moment. But uh, this is our little cross-country challenge. challenge. Right, what are you going to hit? So, I'm going to hit wedge. Pitching wedge? Pitching I think pitching wedge is my number yeah. as well. Let's give it a go. Okay. Oh, a little clean, Bernie. A little clean. Oh, it's taking a hop up. 
Good. You have hopped that on. That is good. You have hopped that on. That's a lovely on. shot. That's a lovely little Goodness shot. Goodness me, that was skipping across the water at one stage. It's a lovely shot. So you get inside that sunshine. He's under a little bit of pressure one, here. Cause... Three, yeah, 132. It's bang on, really. So if you want to go tournament mode with the slope version, okay, you can put it back. So obviously you can't use slope in tournaments, certainly in the UK you can't. So you can just push that button across and then the black sort of indicates that it's out of slope or out of that uh, measuring. And then red indicates that it's in the slope mode. Right, so what we got, wedge? I've got a wedge as well, but I'm going to try and get it a little bit higher than yours. There's no pictures on the store scorecard? Definitely not, I mean, uh, that was impressive. No, oh, no that's, that's no. missed the green. Oh, that's missed the green. green. Oh my <laughs> word. What a shocker. Oh. Should we go out and have a little look at them? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do I win a Bushnell? Do you win a Bushnell? No, because no. we've got to give it away. Oh yeah, remember We've got that. to give the Bushnell away. But what a shot you've hit there. <laughs> An absolute little dreamer, isn't it? It's me. Absolute it's... little dreamer. About 10 foot away, 8 foot? Yeah. Great shot of that. Uh, that was such a quality strike as well. <laughs> they all count. And there's me over there, Miss Green. Miss Green. Miss Green. So, give me a verdict on the review. Would you have one? I definitely would upgrade if if um, I had the funds and I was thinking or thinking about getting a new a new one. If my model was four or five years old, hundred percent. And even from last year's model, yeah. um, or last year's version, there's a notable difference in my opinion. Yeah, there is from that, that visual point of view, isn't yeah. there? Absolutely. Little things like the bite on the side, those added little touches, they make yeah. all the difference, don't they? Yeah, 100%. But people don't change bushnels massively, you know, they no. don't change bushnels often, do they? It's not something no. that they change a lot, it's kind of something that they might change every three or four years you know yeah yeah um, but this is definitely a, a good upgrade Great. in the generations gone by isn't it definitely yeah I think it's time for a little giveaway to actually win this Bushnell the Tor V5 yeah then you have to like the video so let's have a thumbs that up that would be good wouldn't it always definitely. nice to get a like thumbs up yeah and you also have to subscribe to Dan Hendrickson Golf. Yeah, so they can subscribe and ring the bell as well, couldn't they? Ring the bell would be great. We appreciate any bell ringing. Um, but you have to be a subscriber and like the video. To and we'll this. give it away. And we'll probably give it away on a Sunday show. On a sun yeah, this will be given away on an upcoming Sunday show. So there you go. There's our review of the Bushnell Tor V5. Absolutely fantastic product. I've been using now the Shift version for probably about two years. And I've got to say that it's made a massive difference to my game. Certainly, certainly understanding the sort of um, height differences when I'm playing out on different golf courses. But let me know, put your comments down below. Do you use a Bushnell? I'd like to hear whether you're using a Bushnell yourself or other any other GPS devices out there on the market. I'd like to hear what you have to say. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and ring that bell as well for some more notifications of videos coming your way. As always, stay safe and we look forward to catching up with you again soon.